Hi everyone, I am Dr. J. Suresh Kaur, Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, we are going to discuss about the different type of problems on correlation, especially for bivariate data. See, in the last session, we have discussed what is correlation, what is the relationship between two variables and by using equal or repeated ranks or rank correlation coefficient we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss the same correlation for bivariate data. That means bivariate data means if the data is classified into two ways, classified into two ways. That means an X and Y should be in interval model, in the, in the interval model that is called bivariate data. For this, we can find out the correlation coefficient R by using this formula. What is the formula? Sigma Fxy minus sigma Fx into sigma Fy by n, where n is total number of paired observations. Number of paired observations. By under root of product of two, Sigma fx square minus sigma fx whole square by n. Same like sigma fy square minus sigma fy whole square by n. Right? So, this is the formula to find the correlation coefficient for the bivariate data. Bivariate data means the x and y values are given in interval mode. See, in the previous problems or in the previous session, we can, we have done the problems on only one interval values remaining are integer values. But here we are going to discuss the correlation coefficient for x and y both two are interval values. Again, I am repeating the formula R equal to sigma fxy minus sigma fx into sigma fy by n by under root of sigma fx square minus sigma fx all square by n into same concept sigma fy square minus sigma fy by n all square. Here, some f is frequency and capital X equal to small x minus x bar, capital Y equal to small y minus y bar. But small x and small y are the values of interval. In that case, we can use capital X equal to m minus mid value by difference between interval. Similarly, capital Y also same, m minus mid value by difference of the interval for corresponding y value. And f is a frequency. So, this is the formula to find out the correlation coefficient for bivariate data. Suppose if I take one problem on bivariate data, calculate the coefficient of correlation or we need to find out between the marks obtained a batch of 100 students in two different subjects, accountancy and statistics. See, marks in statistics range is given. This is if you assume y and marks in accountancy values are given. Marks in accountancy x and marks in statistics are y. That means this is 15 to 25. Here we have 20 to 30 range interval, 30 to 40 range, 40 to 50 range, 50 to 60 range, 60 to 70 range. Here 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, 45 to 55, 55 to 65. These are the different frequencies, small f values. That means the students got marks in statistics between 40 to 50 and between 15 to 25 is three members. The total members this is. And total number of students are 100. See, observe that x values are given interval, y values are also given interval. So we can find out correlation coefficient by using bivariate data formula. What is that? Sigma fxy minus sigma fx into sigma fy by n by under root of sigma fx square minus sigma fx whole square by n into same sigma fy square minus sigma fy whole square by n. Okay, see. For this we need to find out all the values 
x values are given 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 and small y values are also given. First you find out mid value for this 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. Small x mid value, similarly small y mid values 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I told you that we need to find out capital X and capital Y. Capital X value M minus mid value by difference between intervals. M. What is the mid value for this? Out of these five values, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. Exact mid value is 45. So M minus 45 by difference between the interval. What is the difference between the interval 10? Sometimes you may get six values. In that case, you can take any one of the mid value. Now capital X formula M minus 45 by 10. That means M mid value 25 minus 45 by 10 minus 2, 35 minus 45 by 10 minus 1, 45 minus 45 by 10, 0, 55 minus 45 by 10, 1, and 65 minus 45 by 10. Capital X values we got it. Similarly, capital Y values also M 20 minus here mid value is 40. Because total 5 values, exactly mid value is 40. 20 minus 40 by 10, minus 2, 30 minus 40 by 2, minus 1, 40 minus 40 by 10, 0, 50 minus 40 by 10, 1, 60 minus 40 by 10. Okay. So, we got capital Y values, capital X values. And these are the frequencies as usual, whatever the values are given in the problem, same you copy here. These are the values that are given in the problem. Similarly, total also you add 5 plus 9, 14 plus 3, 17, F frequency. Here also total frequency, total 100 members. Now, what values are required in the formula? R formula, sigma Fx by minus sigma Fx into sigma Fy by n by under root of sigma fx square minus sigma fx whole square by n into sigma fy square minus sigma fy whole square by n. That means we require fx fy fx square fy square fx y. These values we require. You take here F values are there and here capital X values are there. So you can write here Fx, Fx square, Fx. Here F values are there, corresponding Y values are capital Y values are there. You write Fy, Fy square, Fx. Now how you get Fx value, this 10 value? Very simple, F, F into capital X, 5 into minus 2. Similarly, 20 into minus 1, minus 20. Third one, 44 into 0, 0. Fourth one, 24 into 1, 24. Next, 7 into 2, 14. Over. Sigma fx equal to 8. Add them, we will get 8. fx square, fx square means fx already we done into x. That means this fx into again x, minus 10 into minus 2, 20, minus 20 into minus 1, plus 20, 0 into 0, 0, 24 into 1, 24, 14 into 2, 28. Add them. Thank you. Now coming to, we will discuss fxy value later. This value and this value we will discuss later. Now fy and fy square. fy, this is f, corresponding y value here. Capital Y, minus 2 into 7. Minus 34. And 37 into minus 1. 
minus 37, 15 into 0, 0, 25 into 1, 25, 6 into 2, 12. Now f y square, f y square means f y already we have done, again you multiply with one, f y, these are the f y values, again you multiply with y. Minus 34 into minus 2, 68, minus 37 into minus 1, 37, 0 into 0, 0, 25 into 1, 25, 12 into 2, 20. F y square we got it. Except this value, we got it all the values. How you get this 20 value, f x y, this is f, this is x, this is y. But don't take total frequency f. You can do this f internal values, f values, f, x, corresponding x value, corresponding y values. What happened? 5 into minus 2 into minus 2. How much? 20. 20. Plus, now coming to here, 0 into something, 0, 0, 0. So 20 value. Now coming to here, fx, y, 9 into minus 1 into minus 2. How much? 18. Plus you put it, 10 into minus 1 into minus 1. 10. Now coming to 1. 1 into minus 1 into 0. 0. Remaining dashes are there, that means zeros, which is 28. Put it 28. Now, fx, y. 3 into 0 into minus 2, 0, 25 into 0, x is the 0, no? that's why we can take here 0. Now this is 0, this one 2 into 1, 2, minus 2, minus 2, 2 ones are 2, 0, plus 0, plus 16, 16 ones are 16, plus 1, 16 into 1, 16, plus 4 left, 4 into 1, 4, into 2, 8. 16 plus 8, 24 minus 2, 22. Like that last value. We have three zeros, only these two. 5 into x, 5 into 2, 10 into 1, 10. Plus f, x, y, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 8. 18. So we got it, 18. Add them, sigma f, x, y, 18. Here also same concept. How do you get 38? F. This is F. X. Y. 5 into minus 2 into minus 2. Which is how much? 20. Plus 9 into minus 1 into minus 2. Plus 3 into 0 into something like that. If you do, we we'll get same values again. Sigma fx y is 80. Like this, we have to find out sigma fx. Sigma Fy, Sigma Fx square, Sigma Fy square, and Sigma Fx. And substitute in the correlation coefficient formula, Sigma Fxy is 88, and Sigma Fx equal to 8, Sigma Fy equal to minus 34, by in total number of students 100, by Sigma Fx square 92, minus Sigma Fx how much? 8, 8 square 64, minus 34 whole square. We do R equal to 0 0.795. This is the relation between the marks in accountancy and the marks in statistics. This formula we are going to use if the problem consists of bivariate data. That means the two variables are defined in the interval model. We can use this formula. Right? Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.